Hey everybody, Marty here again for Love Marriage Baby Carriage. Um, I've talked I've talked with y'all about what we did before the doctor's visit. Now I'm going to talk to y'all about what we did um, about the first doctor's visit and just kind of what she said, and then I'll go kind of into what she's having us do. So we tried for 13 months before going to the doctor. Whenever that year mark hit, I knew that a lot of doctors wouldn't even see for infertility until after a year. So when that year mark hit, I started calling around trying to find um, a doctor. I had just got really good insurance with a new job, so I knew that I, could, I pretty much had my pick of doctors, and I knew a great one. So I went and talked with her on September 29, 2014. It was our very first appointment. It was just routine. I scheduled it as a routine pap smear, routine, yearly checkup. Um, nothing major. And then when I went in, I talked to the nurses and then to the doctor as well about infertility. And we had been trying for over a year and nothing had happened. You know, what could we do about this? So what she talked with me for a while and I've never had a doctor stay in the room with me for so long and speak with me about anything. I was so surprised. Um, love her. Love her so much. Um, I, the best decision I ever made as far as the, a doctor is concerned. So she told me um, to come back and I came back on uh, October 14th which is the 21st day of my cycle and they wanted to do a blood test to check for ovulation and they did the blood test and it, the blood test showed that I did not ovulate and I have a note right here um, they want your they want your test to be if it's 15 if the number is 15 and above that means that yes she did ovulate if it's 10 or below that means you did not ovulate and if it's between 10 to 15 it means that there could be a maybe in there maybe it was a small egg or something like that mine was a 4.99 so that was way low I did not ovulate but she said that I'm perfectly healthy and she she doesn't have any doubt in her mind that my eggs are good so I was just when I got that phone call from the nurse I was crushed I was like you know I thought that they were saying you know you're sterile you'll never have kids um, I was just shattered and then uh, she said let's go ahead and send your husband uh, to get a sperm analysis so we have to go to a different hospital for that so on the 15th of October 2014 my husband went and did a sperm analysis and then we found out a few days later his sperm count was low as well um, it's supposed to be 40 and up and his was a 16 so that crushed me even more and him as well so I was like I'm thinking okay I'm sterile he's sterile everybody's sterile that's it we're never having kids and I was like I was almost in tears on the phone with this nurse the same one talks to me every time so she kind of knew my situation so I was like does is that it does it mean no never and she was like no not at all um and she explained to me men make sperm every three months women we're born with what we got we got the eggs if they're good that's great if they're not that's great if it's a little amount you know we're born with that men make a new set of sperm every three months so she was like no that's not at all so the doctor put my husband on vitamins i was already on vitamins um prior to this so they put him on vitamins to get that sperm level up and for me the vitamins just helping me to to build a healthier egg is what it's helping me to do so and so then in November we did those <clears throat> we did those in October November 1st we started our vitamins and we have to take those for three months they want us to take them you know they want us to continually take them but they want us to take it for three months and see if the sperm levels come up so in the February 1st of March we're going to go back and get another sperm analysis done 
and if the level is up where they want it to be, then we'll start Clomid, is, is what the doctor said, that she feels like I would benefit from it. And I have not been diagnosed with anything, y'all. I kind of have in the back of my mind, I think I may have PCOS. I have, I want to say at least four to five of the symptoms, just what I look up on WebMD and online. Um, I have four to five of the symptoms, but I haven't been diagnosed. And she hasn't even started down that path with me. She just feels like I would benefit from Clomid. And that's the route she wants to take right now because everything else is going good. I'm perfectly healthy otherwise. So that's what she basically said to us at our first doctor's appointment. I'm going to do another video and kind of get into the vitamins and get into the how I track my ovulation now and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so these videos won't be three hours long. So that's just kind of what happened to our, our first doctor's appointment. Um, we'll go back in end of February, 1st of March and kind of see where we're at and really we just have to keep on this vitamin regimen for now. So I'll see you, see you guys later and have a great day.